What's up, guys? So we're back. This is actually a video that I did not expect to record today. I expected to do it next week. Uh, but some breaking news happened. Uh, a lot of breaking news. We're doing a mock draft uh, because, first things first, the Dolphins, they're making moves in the draft. The first thing they did is they traded the number three pick to the 49ers for the number 12 pick, a 2021 third round pick, and two future first round picks in, I believe, 2022 and 2023. Then, after that, the Dolphins traded back up to number six with the Eagles. They traded number six and number, or the Eagles traded number six and number 156 to the Dolphins for number 12 and number 123 and a 2022 first rounder. So the Eagles trade back to number 12. The Dolphins trade back to number six, basically. And the 49ers go up to three, which that says rumor, that. Yeah, rumor has is the Eagles wanted Zach Wilson. Obviously, that's not going to happen. So they yeah, said, they, screw it. We'll trade back and accumulate more picks for the future. Yeah, they said uh, the only way they were trading up to three was if they could get Wilson, and that's not happening, especially after his pro day today. He locked himself in his number – he locked himself in as number two in the class, or in the class for quarterback. He's arguably one. I, they're close. I still think Trevor's better. It's like close. it's like right here for me, Trevor and Zach. I think they're both. I know like everybody says that Trevor's a generational talent, but like they're both Zach generational. Wilson, Zach talent. Wilson's arm talent is just Zach's arm talent is insane. It's insane. But. So, yeah, I think they're both generational talent, if we're honest. This, this is a crazy QB class. You, you have two generational QBs. Yeah. But So, those are the big moves. So, that completely changes up the draft order. Let's jump into it, man. Let's go ahead. And, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's jump into it. Let's, Emergency mock draft initiated. <laughs> yes, sir. Here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and select all. Let's move on. This is just going to do one round, right? Yeah, we're just doing one round. Okay. And let's go. Start draft this. What we're going to be doing is instead. So I'm going to go first this time, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> but, but what we're doing this time is we're going to do what we would do, not what we think will do happen. Oh, we're is gonna that do, what we're doing? We're doing sometimes we're going to do what we think will happen and then sometimes what we should, what Ugh. we think they should do. So we're going to do what we think they should do. Look at all these trades already. Right. Yeah, go ahead and lock in the first pick, man. You know what it is. Trevor. Yeah, if not, well, not uh, Urban only. Urban only took this job to draft Trevor Lawrence. If it was any other coach other than Urban, I'd coin flip it. Trevor didn't even go. Oh, uh, Trevor. I mean, Urban didn't even go to Zach Wilson's pro day. Nobody okay. went to Zach Wilson's pro day besides Bevel, and he only went be probably because he literally lives there. there. So, yeah, for me, number two, Zach Wilson. You can lock in the number two picks. I would bet any amount of money that these are the top two picks because this is the jets the reason before we move on the jets people said their pick was up in the air before i don't think it is because after today all the rumors and stuff that the the uh 49ers probably tried to trade up with the number two right. the eagles right. tried to trade everybody was trying to trade up to number two and they said no and the only reason you say no is because you want to take a quarterback so sam right. darnold's done zach wilson is a lock those are my those are the top two and they're a lock but number three, the San Francisco. Now here's where mm. things can get muddy between what I would do and what I think they would do. Because I know you're not going to like to hear it, but Chris Sims and everybody coming out. Chris Sims is actually like really good friends with Kyle Shanahan, apparently. And he's saying don't roll out Mac Jones here, which I think I, <laughs> I'm, in boat, I'm in the boat. I'm in the boat. I'm in the boat that this is too rich for Mac Jones. I don't think you trade away all of that capital to move up to grab a quarterback who in his first year is not – is probably – will be only as good as Jimmy Garoppolo, which you already have, in my opinion. Yeah, if you're, um, if you're at number three, you've got to take somebody who has superstar potential. But if they do that, and maybe they think differently. I don't know. I don't feel that way, personally. Um, it's hard to do this pick for what I would do, considering what they traded up to, to, do, to get here. That skews my view. So I'm just going to take Trey Lance here because I feel like they will take him. Um, I feel like Kevin, uh, Kyle Shanahan pre prefers quarterbacks who have a, a, a good processor, and I feel like his is better than Fields's at this moment. And uh, he can sit behind Jimmy G, who they said they're going to keep. 
So we'll take them for their word right now, which is not smart, but they said they're going to keep Jimmy G. So I think they'll put Trey Lance on the bench for a year and Rock come out in 2022 with him. Hopefully he can lead them to the promised land in their hopes. I think Trey Lance is what they will do. And I think it's what they should do as well. Cause for one, Trey Lance has arguably the most upside in the class and Kyle Shanahan is one of the best coaches. So he's going to get that upside out of him most likely. And they have Jimmy to sit there to work for a year and then use Trey Lance. And it's just Trey Lance has a superstar potential that Mac Jones doesn't have. I don't think Mac Jones has superstar potential. And that's what you want at number three <laughs> for me personally. Right. This pick um, right here. I don't think that uh, this pick will be the Falcons for very long. Yeah. This, this, <laughs> this, will probably, this pick could get very easily get traded, especially with how many teams are desperate specifically pick eight, eight and pick nine. nine. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. I'm going to take Justin Fields. Um, they're getting their QB of the future. We're going to see four quarterbacks go straight, which that's kind of crazy to think about. But Right. And probably the happiest team today with that trade up, the Cincinnati Bengals, because they're going to lock in their left tackle of the future, Mr. Penny Sewell. You could almost couldn't, – Couldn't have worked out better for them. Outside of the Falcons <laughs> potentially trading down, you could almost lock in this top five. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe not the Niners, but I, I think it's close enough. The number six is now the Dolphins. This is where I think they take uh, – they could go. Uh, they could go my, one of many that, ways. But I'm going to go with Jamar Chase. They could uh, – I mean, technically they could go Kyle Pitts, even though they do have Gusecki because Kyle Pitts is a versatile weapon. But I think they're going to get Jamar Chase. Let's go ahead and uh, lock in Jalen Waldo right here. Let's give Jared Goff a weapon to throw to you outside. And then the team who probably uh, <laughs> is probably the most mad with how things went today, Carolina Panthers. Oh, wait, I forget. This is my pick. I'm not used yeah, to it. Yeah, it is. It is your pick. The Panthers. The Panthers could go many different ways. They, they could take Mac Jones because – he did. They did work with him at the they senior They apparently bowl. loved him at the senior bowl. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't take Mac Jones at number eight. I don't think he's worth it there. But, I, can see I mean, it. he's a quarterback. So Again, this is what are you going to do, not what they're going to do. What I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to go Kyle Pitts. Got to. Kyle arguably Pitts the, is – Arguably the best player in the draft. Yeah, he's my – he's the second best player in the draft uh, for me. He's the arguably the best. And that they need a tight end. I don't think Mac Jones is good enough to pass over Kyle Pitts at that point. Denver, I believe, will be trading up to number four. I don't think the Falcons will do it with the, with the Panthers because why would they? Why would they give them a possible franchise quarterback? You know, that's not going to happen in a million years, in my opinion. So I feel like they're going to trade up for the quarterback, but that hasn't happened yet. So here, let's go ahead and give them Rashawn Slater because they could use – Inside out, offensive line, they could use a tackle, and he can do both. Indeed. Number 10, the, the good old Cowboys. I think don't, – Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do what you think they're going to do. Do what you would do. Yeah. I you think know Patrick that, Jones – I mean, you know Patrick I, Sertan's not your number one corner. I think they're going to go Sertan, but he's not my number one corner. J.C. Horn is. You think J.C. Horn would be really good, in my opinion, really good for them. All right, Giants, what would I do for them? I think what I would do for them is also what they will do, in my opinion, even though he has the character concerns, which don't really concern me so much. I'm not really that worried about them, to be honest. Um, it just worries me that he might not like football. but Yeah, he's, that's he's another thing. I, I do feel like – do I, though? Ugh. He just seems like such a Giants pick. Jalen Waddle has been like the spot here for so long. Now I just can't see him falling this far. They could go edge, but I think this is too early. I mean, they could go Devontae Smith. They do they need could. a receiver still. Yeah, but they got yeah, because they got Galladay and Smith yeah, is a separator. Ugh, man. That defense is atrocious, though. Yeah. Let's go ahead and lock in Micah Parsons. Wide receiver's deep. They can get a wide receiver in second round. 
All right, the Eagles. The Eagles are going to go to Vontae Smith here. Yeah, they got to. Or I think they should. Yeah, they got to. And they, and they should. I would do it too. <laughs> they should do it. Yeah. Um, Chargers. Let's go ahead and uh, let's give them a Christian Derisaw. That's what I think they should do. Gotta That's what I that, think they should gotta do. Got to protect well. that asset and Justin Herbert, dog. Now – the Vikings, I'm going to give them Elijah Vera Tucker because I think that's who they, they need that inside offensive line. I don't think people say he could play tackle, but his arm length is guard. I also think the, somebody might, they might trade back. Yeah, they, know, they, could pro- they could probably trade back as well to jump let's, the Patriots specifically. Let's see here. So for the Patriots, I'm going to go ahead and give them Patrick Sertan here. Because they have the second round tender on J.C. Jackson, they rumors are they're trying to shop Stephon Gilmore. I think they need a corner. All right, now that's what I would do, with the, for for them, they might take Mac Jones there, but that's what I would do for them. If I am the Cardinals, let's go to cornerback. And Gotta do it. This one's interesting because Caleb, look at how low they have Caleb Farley on this board. I- I didn't think back. his his back injury was that bad. When I read about what it was, it said it was a non-invasive surgery. I'm going to go Caleb Farley because I think he just has such – he is the most upside. We're going to do a cornerback rankings, but I think he has the most upside of any cornerback in this draft because of how athletic he is, his size. It's close, it, man. Him, him and Horn is very close to me. Yeah. I gave Horn the one only because of the back. But That's fair. I also really like Newsom, so you could see Newsom go here if they're concerned about the back. But I just think Farley is just so athletic. And I don't think the back is as big a deal as some people think. Because people All said right. Miles Jack was going to blow his knee out. Yeah, exactly. I, it just the, When I read about the surgery, I forget what, the, what, what, the, what he had. It was like a herniated disc, but they called it something specific. And I, when I Googled it, it was like it's a non-invasive surgery. And I was like, that doesn't seem like that much of a big deal to me. All right, let's switch back to the all board. It's there. It is. Okay. I'm going to give the Raiders Jeremiah Obusu ah, Koromoa. That's who I was going to go as well. They they think. need O line really bad. I just feel like you can't, you can't pass on the best, arguably probably the best linebacker in this draft class. All right. So the Dolphins. The Dolphins took a wide receiver and. They could go Najee Harris, but I'm going to go quit. I would give them Quiddy Pay because I think he's arguably he's arguably the best. You saw our edge video. He's not my edge one, but I think he'd did be you the see first his pro day today. He he had the, the tie his thigh tightened he up. Didn't, but he, ran he a, didn't do the dang cone. The cone. I know, but you, everybody see that. Well, if you haven't seen the video, go on Twitter, Google Quiddy Pay three cone and watch it's the insane. video. His three cone is insane. But yeah. he ran a four five four forty. He also benched the. Uh, he did the bench 225 36 times, bro. He He's also, a, when he was running his 40, it was shirtless, dude, like he was chiseled from the stone of the gods, bro. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I think Quiddy Pay should be the first uh, edge off the board. Just, I don't think Only he's because my, of the injury concerns, right? Yeah, only because of injury concerns. That's the only reason why. But Quiddy Pay, he's a machine. <clears throat> they, need, they need edge. He's also arguably best player available. Actually, you could very easily say best player available, depending on your opinion, but. Okay, so now we got... Oh, this is such an easy pick. The football team. Hmm. What will they do? Give it to them. Give it to them. I'll go and give them Mac, let's give them Mac Jones. There it goes. If That's Mac, what I Jones think falls, Mac Jones' floor in this class is 19. Maybe 20. Maybe 20, yeah. No lower than that. Maybe 24. I couldn't see him. If he did get to 24, he wouldn't get past test, but that's fine in my opinion. I, yeah. I, I could see them trading up to get him, to be honest. Yeah. All right. Big Ben's got to be on his last year. Tevin Jenkins. This is quite an easy pick as well. Come on down. Okay. Uh, go to tackle for me. Let's go ahead and give them a uh, Cosme to play left tackle. They need that franchise left tackle. Now I'm, I'm gonna hate. This, I'm gonna hate. I'm gonna hate this pick. I'm gonna hate it so much. <laughs> Uh, we, we're big Greg Newsom fans. Just wait for our uh, rankings video. We're going to be like raving about Greg Newsom the whole time and seeing him uh, to a division rival just pains. But, but it, that's what I would do if I was them. Easy. Another team needs corner. It's the Jets. They're, they're abysmal at corner. 
Um, let's go to the edge real quick. Oh, it's lagging. Because they could use an edge as well. Do they run a 4-3 or a 3-4? Wait, who's their head coach now? Robert Sala. Sala. Yeah, so they're probably going to run the 4-3, I would imagine. Probably the Seattle scheme. S similar to the Seattle scheme. Like Jacksonville as well is where he was at one point. And I think that uh, Jalen Phillips would fit that scheme really well, in my opinion. I think he can do both. So, yeah, let's Jalen Phillips it up, bud. Yes, sir. That's who get I him, Let's get him a weapon to use on that defense. Hopefully uh, his concussions don't flare back up. Hopefully not, because he's so talented. That would be so depressing. Right. All right, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to give Najee Harris. They, they have an abysmal run game. They do. Oh, yeah, we're going to go Travis E.T. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> what I would do if I were the Jacksonville Jaguars here, I'll Arnie. tell you some things that are really tempting here. Trayvon Merrick, very tempting. Aziz Ojolari, very tempting. Rashad Bateman, also very tempting. Oh, I just realized. This board always throws me off. I think I know who you could go. But if you remember my Edge video, and I do believe that we do need another edge, even though on here the edge is like the I sixth already know spot. who it's going to be. I already know who it's going to be. Can I go ahead and so I'm going to take Joseph Osai here for Why our edge. Why is he so low on the board? They have I have like no idea. He's, I think he was 51. Oh. But. He's right behind Perkins. But I think that Osai is the best 3-4 outside linebacker in this class. I think he can play his hand in the dirt if need be because I know we're going to run a multiple scheme. But uh, you can't go into the season with your best pass rushers just being Allen, Chason, and uh, Jihad Ward, I think, is the other guy that they were planning on playing outside linebacker. You can't do that, in my opinion. So the I think Browns, 25, in my opinion, has to be edge. The Browns run a 4-3, right? I, yes, I do believe so, with Miles Garrett hand in the dirt. Because I would give them Aziz, but he's a 3-4, so instead I'm going to give them – oh, that's the wrong position. I can see them getting – yep. Yep. Bada boom, bada bang. Um, here we go. Uh, let's go to Edge again. Actually, let's go to Edge. This team could use Aziz Ojolari. Um, I just feel like Zayvon Collins at linebacker is a way better. He's more of a Raven to me. God, but they also need help on the interior offensive line. And they need they help get, wide they receiver. Got, they, got they, got they got Kevin Zeitler. Oh, they got – oh, oh, actually, go to receiver. Oh, yeah. yeah go, ahead, go ahead and pick Rashad Bateman. <laughs> I'm being dumb. <laughs> Give that man a receiver. I don't know how much he fits that scheme, but I feel like they just need a bigger bodied receiver that's also still really fast and can separate decent right, rather than picking someone like Tony, who someone might think that Tony fits their scheme better. But I feel like they just ha have too many guys like that. They need to get a big guy out there. All right, the Saints. This could go many ways because they need a cornerback badly, so they could use Stokes. Yeah, Lord Lattimore just got arrested, so. Who? Yeah, Marshawn. <laughs> Marshawn Lattimore. <laughs> he got arrested for receiving or suspicion of receiving stolen property. Right. He looked high as fudge in his picture. <laughs> and then they could also go wide receiver. Kadarius Tony is a quarterback's best friend just because you could throw it to mm -hmm. him. And their quarterback situation – People are really high on Jameis Winston for some reason, which I think he can be good. I just don't know. And then if they do need to use Taysom Hill, Kadarius Tony is easily the best wide receiver. Taysom Hill. The, Saint, the Saints could literally go BAP here and just, like, where, whoever they get is going to be, like, good. Because they need, they need a receiver. They need a corner. They need, they need edge. an edge. Do they, what do they run, a 4-3? Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to give them Aziz Ojolari. Do they need they, – no, they just – They, they, they do tag, need corner. They, they tagged tag, Marcus Williams, but, but I don't that's know a one the, year. I don't know who the other safety is. You know, I'm going to go – I want to give them Eric Stokes, but I want to give them Tony more. Is that what you would do, Tony? Yeah. That sucks because that's what I would have done right here. <laughs> uh, Man, I know Packers fans are going to want a wide receiver really bad. You're never going to draft one in the first round. But they did re-sign Kevin King to a one-year deal, and that's sketch. Let's uh, go to tackle. I 
I don't know what they do. They need, what do they need? A left tackle? No, they don't need a left tackle. They need a right tackle. They need a right tackle. I'm assuming. Ah, uh, yeah. Because let's uh, get uh, let's just get them hurt. Yeah, give them Mayfield. They're gonna try to protect Rodgers. I feel like. Interesting. You can't if you can't give them a weapon, give them protection. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give them Stokes real quick. Cornerback. I could see them going Asante Samuel Jr. But because I do like Asante more, but I feel like Stokes would be the better pick for the Bills. All right, go back to tackle. Uh, they got rid of their left tackle and right tackle, right? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and sign up uh, Liam Eikenberg to help bolster that offensive line for Patrick Mahomes. Number 32. Hmm. <clears throat> They just resigned to Fournette, so I don't know if they would go running back. Maybe. Fournette sucks, I, though. I know, but they seem to like him. But I mean, I know this is what you would do and not what they would do, but. It's a one year deal as well. <laughs> I know, yeah, true. But do they still have Ronald Jones, too? Yeah, they do. I get But they're, eh, they're both kind of. Um, I wouldn't go running back, but then again, I hate running backs in the first round, so. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't need a safety for sure. They took one last year and he worked out well. I don't know why. Why receivers so high on that list? Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> That's I mean, actually. It's actually kind of one of their best positions. Like I like Scotty Miller. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I was gonna say maybe like a developmental edge, maybe to play behind uh, JPP and rotate with those guys. I don't know who their third option is at edges. They have Barrett, PP, and I don't know. I don't know who the other guy is. I'm locking in Gregory Russo. I like Ooh. him more than I. I like him to sit behind and just kind of learn and develop and i think he's the best de- developmental choice he may seem like a jpp kind of guy too isn't jpp kind of big and lanky yeah but yeah guys this is our first round mock of what we would do comment down below. oh hey the jaguars get trayvon merrick at 33 baby <laughs> no <laughs> but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video uh this was an emergency mock draft uh, there will be a podcast coming in the next couple of days, Monday or Tuesday. I think I believe I have it planned for Monday. Uh, comment below if you think we're idiots. Comment what you like below. Comment all that. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Do all that. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.